Hey friends, today I wanted to show you some of my favorite amendments for aeroids. So one of the things that we really need to know about aeroids in general is that they like a lot of drainage. So our mixture needs to be super chunky. How do we achieve that? What does that look like? I mean, some people really don't have an issue. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna show you some amendments that I think are super great for aeroids in general. Uh, I will say that aeroids tend to like chunky mixture. So especially if you're somebody who likes to water a lot, having a chunky mixture is essential. It's so crinkly. What? I can't hear you. What? All right. This is Mother Earth Perlite number four. As far as I know, this is as big as it gets. I bought a plant and it had this perlite in it and I was amazed. I had to find it. I'm gonna show you. So, here's an example of this beautiful perlite. It's so chunky. It's the coarsest one they have. So, it starts with one, I think it goes to four. This is four, get this, this is fantastic. So, uh, It might be sold under other brands. I bought a bag off of Amazon. It's really hard to tell sometimes in the picture just how big it is. And because the sizes vary on the perlite, you know, one piece could be an inch, one piece could be almost two inches big. So when you look at the picture on Amazon, you're like, oh, it looks about right. And then it comes and it's not. So I think what I got from Amazon before was like maybe a two or a three coarseness of perlite and I wanted bigger. Um, so another note, that perlite is so darn expensive, $60 on Amazon. If you have a hydroponic store, go there. They have amazing supplies. They have great grow lights. They have great um, amendments. They have a lot of great stuff. I couldn't go in the store because of COVID, but uh, my shop, near me in the East Bay. I'm in Oakland, so the shop I went to was in uh, San Leandro. There was a number of them, and they have a lot of their supplies online, and you can do curb pickup, it's fantastic. Another thing I got from there is Fox Farm Soil. Let me show you. What is it called? Oh, potting soil, yeah, Ocean Forest. Fox Farm Ocean Forest. Now, so I don't usually buy my own soil mixture, I usually use my own. But um, when I do want to use a pre-made mixture, this is some of the best stuff you can get. So for aeroids, I would add more perlite, more chunky material. Some charcoal is fantastic as well. So this is the soil I would recommend. If you're using this for aeroids, add chunky material, this is a very rich soil. It's got bat guano, it's got worm poo. If you don't want to carry all those things in your potting shed, <laughs> if you don't want to carry all those in your potting shed, uh? then buy this soil. Okay, I'm totally gonna hit you with this back. <laughs> Number three of some of my favorite amendments. This is something that I love, but I would like to find a better version of. So like other cocoa core substrates, uh, these are compacted and they loosen up with water. So you would soak a bunch of this in some water, it expands, and after it expands, you let it dry. This stuff is not cocoa core, but it's chips and fiber. Um, if you can find big chips and fiber, that's great. This was kind of as big as I could find. I'm gonna go back to that hydroponic store and see if they have any of this. But um, like most cocoa core substrates, you soak it in water and it expands. So this is similar. I prefer 
that over the cocoa core because it's chunky. Those roots are gonna move through there faster. All right, another amendment that I really like is orchid bark. This is the large orchid bark, um, large size. Everything is a large size. <laughs> All right, so the pieces vary a lot. You can have these little guys right here and these big ones. Um, anything from medium to large on the orchid bark is good. The small ones, I feel like, just hold on to too much moisture. There's too many really teeny pieces in there. It ends up too much like mulch uh, in that it's just holding on to that moisture. Odors, as well as purifies water and it's also another chunky material to stick in there so that you're not overwatering. Um, one note on overwatering and underwatering. Um, so basically, if you have a lot of holes in your pot and you're using a really chunky mix, you kind of need to be up on your watering just because you can underwater in those situations. Um, I think in general, the aeroids are usually really hardy when it comes to being underwatered. They cannot handle being overwatered and sitting in soppy, wet soil conditions for a long time. Another item I really like are these clear plastic pots. So these are great because uh, they're very sturdy and they're mostly used for orchids. They're very sturdy and you can see the roots. You can tell if your plant has root rot and when you're dealing with expensive plants, you want to know. You don't want to have to take it out of the container all the time. So, um, that is an Amazon product. All of these things I would suggest trying to find a hydroponic store. You're going to find it cheaper there, most likely, because a lot of this stuff is really big, not super easy to ship. Those pots were a pretty good price on Amazon. I felt like it was an okay buy. Um, if you don't want to buy the more heavy duty pots, this, those are orchid pots. Um, there's a couple other options. A lot of people just do plastic cups for drinking um, or old plastic containers that you reuse. Totally fine. Poke some holes in the bottom or drill some holes in the bottom and you're good to go. Ah, there's another type I want to show you. This is another type of pot and if you can see it's got lines on the bottom. This, these lines that are on the sides, um, they make it so the water drains out of the sides very easily. Plus the pot is clear, which makes it even better. So these are awesome. If you can find these pots, these are great. They've got holes on the bottom, holes on the sides, lots of airflow going through here. That's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you soon.